Hello. Welcome to the Black and Orange uh, channel where we do, a, a I take your 12 political questions at 12 noon Chicago time every day. Thank you so much for being here. I hit the, the live button, but it didn't catch, so I've already actually talked a bit. So I've got to go back to what I was, I backtracked and re go over the, the stuff again. Hello. Uh, I, I uh, am here at noon every day to take your 12 political questions, and I take them out of the chat, and I have my questions for today. But if I don't read on your questions or don't get to it, it is never anything personal. All right. We are having a, a very zen Halloween day here on the Black and Orange channel. I saw these and just thought, this has to have it. This has to be the overlay. So I took these little characters and I put them in little boxes and here we are. Uh, because, uh, thank you, Dragon Lady. Because there are a lot of stressful things happening and so it's, we're gonna do Zen Halloween today. So thank you, Judy. Yes, exactly. Michael Grant, have a very zen, zen day. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, because I'm not the only person who, who just about, oh my goodness, thank you, Mitzi. Thank you, that is very kind, thank you. I can't be the only person who uh, saw the news this morning about Adam Kings, Kinzinger and it was like, it like dropped what I was holding and, and then he's not, leaving right now. He's leaving at the end of his term. So he's still on the um, January 6th select committee. Again, <laughs> it's like, ooh. And between that and what Tucker Carlson is doing, it's going to be a day of deep breathing. <laughs> and calm, so. And we're actually going to start actually with a prayer today. Uh, I think we need it. Just remembering, just taking a moment to remember that we are all pieces of the, the, the divine. Our souls are all pieces of the divine. We are always connected. The, the connection cannot be severed. You will never be abandoned. And even if you were to, your soul was to leave its body, your body and, and go to very dark or compacted uh, energetic levels, all of the divine would, would do whatever it took to, to bring you home. So understand that, that you are precious and you are loved and your soul is absolutely precious. And we don't have to beg for divine energy. We just see a need and we just ask of divine energy pour into the world. Of the highest vibration of divine energy, just pour into the world, just fill up the world, everyone and everything in it, raising the vibration of every soul, of every everything that is just higher and higher and higher for health, for the good of all. Always. Okay. So we're starting there. Um, so let me start at the top of the list of our questions for today. And... It is Friday. Sunday is Halloween. So we're getting down to the time. Thank you, guys. I, I um, as I'm shuffling, I just want to say I've, I've been thinking about what some people suggest about maybe offering memberships to the, the um, channel for if, if anybody wants, is interested. Uh, and it, apparently it would help if I made some icons or something. So, of course, my first inclination is to choose little pumpkins. But apparently, you know, I just, I just wonder. It's like, you know, there are other parts of the year, too. But it is the black and orange channel. This is kind of the thing around here. 
so I don't know. But some people were asking for it uh, for as a way to perhaps support the channel in a small way, just ongoing. So I don't know. We're, we're going to see. We're going to see. Okay. Uh, remember Ghostbusters, a ghost on the bottom right. Seems like he's related to Stave Puff. Oh, it's a, it's a voodoo doll. It's a little voodoo doll guy. But this one? Oh, yeah. Marshmallow. Definite marshmallow. Pumpkins are a cute idea. Oh, good, Colleen. Good. Thank you. So. All right. So we're starting out. How oh, we can support Ottoman Patron. That's true. That's true. But some people don't want to for some reason. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a decision. I'll, I'll do something around my birthday if I'm going to do anything. So maybe next week. Anyway, so right now, uh, we're going to start. Uh, Santa says it's a bit small. I know it's it's like death by twee, but I couldn't resist it, especially with how stressed everybody is. So I know it's a little twee, but we're just going to run with it today. I even have little I even have little hearts on my nails. So anyway, so at <clears throat> all right, at seven minutes in, we're going to start with Susan's question. And it shouldn't take too long. Any updates for the November astrology influencing things? So there are, um, Santa says, I would never have guessed. Ah, a Scorpio. <laughs> I love, Santa, I love when you come and visit the channel. It is always so funny. All right. Uh, the question was about um, November, the astrology in November uh, affecting things. The astrology in November is, um, the, the big thing is going to be on the 19th. Uh, that's when there's going to be a full moon partial lunar eclipse in Taurus, at the, toward the end of Taurus, 27 Taurus. Um, so partial eclipse, full moon, that eclipses are always uh, kind of a momentous time. There's And, and there's this amazing coincidence of how far the moon is from the earth and the size of the moon to the size of the sun that we can get these, these full eclipses with the, the, uh, is it limbus? I'm sure that's the wrong word, but you can get with the, the light just around the edges and it's just, just so, or you get the, the per, these lovely, uh, lunar eclipses. But, uh, that is really the big thing happening in November on the 19th, November 19th. And if you remember, you remember, remember, remember the 19th of November, because I was saying that that is the day that if you look at the astrology charts, November 19th is a day that trumps lucky Jupiter, of the lucky Jupiter effect. Poof, vanishes out of the astrology charts. I mean, they usually give it a little bit of an, it's called an orb, which is like how much distance there is between, okay, it's like, if it's going to be a 90 degree angle, you know, it, it can start at maybe 95, pretty more like 90, 93, and go on to maybe 87 degrees. Uh, and it's that that amount of space on either side of the, the aspect uh, is, is called an orb. So November 19th, Jupiter being in a lucky aspect in Trump's chart moves out of orb even. So it isn't even like weaker and close, to, you know, because the, 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 any aspect will, it'll get, it'll build up and build up and build up. And then you have the, con, the exact aspect and then it kind of weakens as it goes. November 19th, Trump's lucky Jupiter, poof. So that's that's the big thing in November. Other than that, we've got the usual 
um, you know, Mercury and Venus moving a lot around a lot is the, because they, they only go so far out away from the sun. Uh, a very, uh, an obvious thing once you know about it, but when I was very, the very first things I was learning about astrology, it was like, oh yeah. <laughs> years, years ago, it was like, oh yeah, the, the Mercury and, the, and Venus can't go more than, you know, this distance away from the sun from our viewpoint because they're closer in. So you can't have the sun here and, and Venus over here. Ah, I remember that. I remember it being like, duh, but no, how would I know that? Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, that was done. Uh, so as the sun moves along, it's, you know, taking uh, Venus and Jupiter with it, basically. <clears throat> so, um, Corona, thank you, Frida Smith. Thank you. I knew it was Melinda's. Corona, thank you. Um, and also, then, you have December. Let's not forget about December. December 4th, total solar eclipse. It is going to be the only total solar eclipse for two years. It's going to be December 4th. And if anyone's wondering, wait, you've been talking a lot about December 4th. Yes, it's because that's when my book's being published. And um, whatever other thing I, I'd like to, to start up or get going or part of the business or what have you. I, I want to happen on uh, late on the third or, or on the fourth um, because I want it to have that chart. And I've looked at that chart just, you know, in depth, but um, this December 4th is um, going to be the, the last one for two years. Kate Priest says, that's right. There's a total solar eclipse coming through the U.S. in 2024, isn't there? I cannot remember off the top of my head. I didn't think we were going to get a total solar eclipse through the U.S. again for quite a while. Because we had one in, what, 2017? So, thank you, Jima. So the, the two eclipses are kind of the big deal. Uh, and in December, there's going to be a full moon in Gemini, for what it's worth. December 1st, though, the other good thing, uh, Neptune. Uh, Neptune's going to go direct again. It's been retrograde. So all of the fictions, all of the lies, all of the... Um, it's, if, Neptune can have these, these wonderful qualities of art. I mean, I love Neptune because I, I do art stuff. And so, but it's been back, it's been retrograde. And December 1st, it starts moving forward again. So just like with these other planets where everything was backing up, but then we got, felt it was like a fire hose of news. That's what we're going to be dealing with, with some of this, the, the nebulous stuff coming forward too. All right. And, oh, and the other thing, at the end of December, don't forget, when it comes to Trump, Andre from Astrology Alert was saying that it is back in sort of May-June when Jupiter went into Pisces that suddenly um, Weiselberg was arrested and all of this stuff came out. Jupiter went into retrograde, backed out of Pisces, and then everything's gone quiet. Well, Jupiter moves back into Pisces on December 28th. So, at least he says, then maybe my art block will be removed. Oh, hopefully you and me both. Anyway. So that's what's going on with the astrology. This month, the 19th, is kind of the big thing. And I, I find it interesting that um, it just happened to be that day that Trump loses some of his, uh, some of his uh, Jupiter protection. And lunar eclipses are, you know, eclipses are always momentous. There's always something very uh, powerful about them. 
So when they line, when their energy lines up, it, it just, the, the energy, it's just so, it amplifies the energy. Same way when planets uh, are stationary. Um, they call it station, station, station. But when planets are stationary, so they, they, they look from our perspective like they've been going backwards and then they stop and they start going forward again. But when they stop and they're just, it's just days where it's just sitting, that energy becomes really powerful because it's not being spread out. It's just focused. So hello, Wendy. Hello from Chicago. Hello from Chicago. So Michael Grant thinks perhaps an indictment eclipse. I don't know, but let's keep an eye open around the 19th. So uh, Mimi is saying, ah, Neptune in retrograde, ready for it to go forward. My art has only been plodding along. There you go. All right, so that's what's going on there. So at 1630, let's, let's go on to the... Uh, Good reason to be having Zen Halloween today. M. Kelpie was asking, uh, Michael Grant saying, Chicago, Chicago. Oh, it's my kind of town. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so at, well, let's make it 45. So M. Kelpie was asking about Adam Kinzinger. He's been gerrymandered out of his district. What's his political future? So what I was concerned about was this morning I was I was getting ready. I was doing so, I was doing my chores and you know what have you. The news hits that Kinzinger is retiring, and it was like he's one of the only two Republicans on the January sixth select committee, and I listened and it was like oh. They, they waited to mention, oh, at the end of his term. Thank you for that, that, that uh, adrenaline heart attack. Thank you very much. We're okay. Thank you, Michael Grant. It was very sweet. Hello, Doreen. So, yeah. He's, yeah, his, his, everything's changed. We're going to be reading on Texas here in, in a bit about uh because they are rearranging their districts too in a way that's very uh very much hurts democrats well illinois read they lost a um house seat so they redid their districts and they got rid of one republican district and gained two democratic districts something like that so here we are We'll get to Texas. But for now, let's ask about Adam Kinzinger because he's got to be, he's got to be under enormous pressure. I was really very concerned he was leaving immediately because I was like, oh my gosh, what are they pressuring him with? Has he been threatened? What is going on here? Because if he was leaving immediately, I would, I'd want to get the, the FBI involved or something, you know? But uh, Adam Kinzinger. Adam Kinzinger. We would not agree politically. His family turned against him. It's very sad. When he voted, he was one of the 19 Republicans who voted for Trump's impeachment, something like that. His whole family turned against him. That's sad. All right. But what's your future? Retiring. Goodbye. I'm done. The uh, hang it up. Betty Harper saying a picture of him looked very tired and wrung out. I believe it. Yeah. Frida Smith says it sounds so laughable to European ears. Are you... I, I'm not quite sure what you're responding to. Is it this? Yes, Cat Shepherd. So much for family values. 
All right, so Kinzinger. What have we got here? He feels very, um, he came in being very optimistic. Knight of Pentacles. He was going to fight for Republican views in a democratic state. Six of Wands. Far right, but the far right had their victory. Ten of Wands. He's having to clean up after that mess. Four of Pentacles, and he doesn't have... He doesn't have the political backing he needs to, I don't know, do something similar. He's, he's considered now too much of a moderate until the Republicans come to their senses. So will you be able to finish your work with the January 6th committee? Or is that going to strangely drag on or something? Let's see here. Knight of Swords. Definitely going forward to the January 6th committee and they are not playing around. And at this point, what has he got to lose? Well, besides him threatening him world as in we're done here four of swords it'll be done and dusted and it'll be moved over things will be moved on to other parts of government like the doj or the ethics um lawyers or whatever it is yeah it'll be done by the time he leaves the the committee's work will be done okay i don't know when he leaves but okay and so what is your three cards? What's your, what are you going to do after this? Where are you at it after you leave office? You know, get a, get a nice, go down to Florida, get a nice job in, in an alligator pit where you, there's less backstabbing. Ten of Pentacles. Well, he's a Republican, and there's there's a place for Republicans and uh, different uh, news people. Reporters have been saying that he's actually quite um, ambitious. So we haven't heard the last of him. Chima is saying, "Can we put a Democrat in his spot?" I, they are. They're 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 turning his district. They're turn they're changing his district. So. Uh, Apple. Yeah, I'm concerned about that too, but I'm afraid I've got my questions for today. We could look at it tomorrow. Would you mind throwing it in the, the chat tomorrow, please? Empress. Ace of Pentacles. Star. Uh, two major, or two positive major arcana and a boatload of money. He's going to be fine. Wherever he's going, he's going to be fine. So that is that. Okay. Okay. At 23, 2345. Kristen uh, was saying that there's a historian who's been, who's saying, make no mistake, QAnon cultists are plotting a violent holy war. Assume what what would be the the Halloween Zen position? It wouldn't be like this. It would be like one hand quiet and the other like cute claws. <laughs> you to scratch little kitty ears. Scratch behind little kitty ears. So. MAGA cultists. This violent holy war nonsense. Balderdash. Thank you, Colleen. The Dragon Awakens. Sisters. Grateful. Annie Murray is saying he wants to senator. Well, in Illinois? That could be tough. But. K 
Kate Priest, that's what I'm doing wrong with my meditation. Not nearly enough kitty ears involved. Exactly. Exactly. We all have that problem. All right. QAnon, holy war. Gma says, are they that many? Um, if they were serious, they wouldn't need that many to cause real trouble. All right. Oh, boy. QAnon cultists. It's the Trump base. It's the, the you know, you know, birds of a vulture feather flock together. I, I don't know. Stir up trouble, far right stirring up trouble, five of wands, devil, and the ten of cups. Trying to stir up trouble to upset the, the happy Democrats over here, but I've got happy Democrats at the end there. Let's see. Doxy Mom says, if the ones there are gain momentum, others will join. Seven of Cups. Okay. It's kind of menacing look onto the, what the Democrats are doing. Don't worry. Death card, refusal, eight of pentacles. It doesn't end in death. It's, it's a bunch of legislation. It's a bunch of petulant, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna do your thing. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. There's, there are a few crazies out there, but there are always a few crazies out there, but they're, they're, it's like over here. It's it's just just more legislature. That's going to be more of our, our what we're worried about. But are there going to be every blue moon? Is there going to be a crazy? Every blue moon there is a crazy. That's that has nothing to do with. You know, that's just an excuse. I'm afraid to say. Let's see here. Any more information on this? Page of Pentacles. It's a lot of talk. It's a lot of right wing talk. Sun card. Oh, and white supremacy. Let's not forget that. Oh, and the devil's right back in the center. White supremacy, devil. And again, happy democratic families. Just stay safe. Use common sense. Keep on keeping on. Thank God, Shepard. Yeah, I just keep getting the same thing. So, it'll be okay. All right. So, at 29.30, is this petty of me to ask this question? Probably. Am I going to ask it anyway? Of course I am. Adam Schiff... Is Adam Schiff correct? He um, he said that Marjorie Trader Green is legitimately nuts. So, is Marjorie Trader Green legitimately nuts? Is Adam Schiff correct? Not like. She's putting on an act. She's trying to get money. She's trying. Is she really? 
you know, it, 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 trolling. She 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 looks like a troll. She acts like a troll. She she just takes on the whole persona of a troll. So it can be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But is she? Adam Schiff says she is legitimately not playing with a full deck. Uh, Diane Skiles is saying, you can say that again about a full moon. I worked in a grade school and you didn't have to look at a calendar to know when it was the full moon. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Charles Carey says, yes, don't bother shuffling. <laughs> we, we have time to throw three cards on this. Energy as much as it always is. Awful. Hermit. All up in her head. Conspiracies. Yep. Ten of Cups. Three of Swords. Look, I... Um, I've been very open about about uh, that I fight depression, and I'm usually fine. But um, I do have times when my depression gets really bad, and I, I've learned to recognize it. Um, and yes, I'm messing with my hair because it's hard to talk about. <laughs> um, and I also have, uh, uh, was diagnosed with uh, PTSD, actual, not just like throwing the term around, but actual like everything from flinching at loud noises to overwhelm to yeah anyway so and i'm a germaphobe so and i wasn't always it was it was something that happened and then i've been a germaphobe since so i don't throw around terms like crazy out of any sense of superiority uh, that on top of the fact that in the wider world I am a tarot reader on YouTube, which is not not a role in society that is steeped in credibility for all. <laughs> um, but I'm saying all of that because this this is really disturbed thinking. Mental chaos. I mean, look how unhappy that kitty is. And the bats biting and the, the storm and the lightning and that's her mind. And this is a safe place. A building that has, it's a really safe, gentle place where someone could get a break and um, some help. So we'll leave it at that. Oh, Devin Nunes. There was a, I think I just saw a, um, uh, Kristen has the, of course, the, the, the best headlines. A new map could put Representative Devin Nunes in a Biden voting district. Might have to add that to the And that was Apple had a question too earlier. What was that? What was Apple? Do you remember your question? Um, please let me know. Uh, Betty Harper is saying the full moon equals all the stories mental health workers don't really talk about because they don't want to scare people. Yeah. 
Okay, let me go back up to the questions. So I had a question. So I put that in here at 35.30. Thank you, Gina. 35.30. Because again, we are looking at some scary stuff today. So we're, we're for those of you who have joined us more recently, we're having Halloween Zen Day here on the Black and Orange channel. It's half calm, half cute, silly claws to better scratch behind kitty ears. Because we're going to stay calm. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, Apple says the judge is, judge dismay about the DOJ Garland and prosecutors. Okay. Let me grab that. Thank you, Apple. I appreciate that. If I'm going to be staying here later, I may as well. Answer the best questions. Because you guys have great questions. All right. Oh, thank you, Apple. All right, 26, no, 36.30. My question is, is there going to be one shocking event, something that hasn't happened yet, that will forever mark America's first Pluto return? So February of 2022. Sandy Miller says, wow, I felt that calm. It's nice. Good, good, good. The Pluto return, America's first Pluto return. Is something going to happen? Some big momentous thing that has not happened yet. Steve Judd has uh, been making more videos recently. Yay, the astrologer! He's so good, and um, he's he's saying that the first three, four, maybe five months, but three, definitely three, four months of 2022 between now and then are going to be fraught. But the second half of 2022 looks much calmer. So like you said, it sounds so doom and gloom about next year. Well, uh, the first part of the year, it, it's going to be choppy waters uh, energetically. So um, let's see here. So for the February 2022, America's first Pluto return, United States' first Pluto return, is going to be something big and momentous that happens. It has not happened yet. That will forever mark America's first Pluto return. Yes, I want to know. <laughs> And I felt like my guide saying, Are you sure you want to know? Yes. Yes, I want to know. Fool. Well, we're going to be fine. That's that's the big thing I'm getting. We're going to get through it. Whatever it is, we're going to be fine. We're going to get through it. Okay. So don't forget that. It's important. Okay. Lover's card. So cultists. Or patriots. Let's let's see. Ace of Cups, people who love the country, could be. Queen of Cups, this is good. Moon card, a little, little distressing. Two of Bats, a decision. A decision made in distress and chaos. I keep getting, I, I, I've started getting this card for the January 6th select committee. And this is either the group of Democrats as a whole, occasionally it's Kamala Harris, but that does feel like the cultists howling at the moon and making a decision that has legal consequences. But it doesn't feel like a huge group. Oh, bother. Hey, Jen Lynn 
Janice here from Jen Lintero. Caught a few minutes live. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. If anybody's not uh, subscribed to Jen Lintero, please do. Please do. Oh my gosh. That, that woman is talent on two feet. She really is. She's so good. So anyway. Um, so, all right, anything more? Is there something momentous, something going that's going to happen that has not yet happened, that is going to forever mark, historically mark, the United States' first Pluto return, which happens in February of 2022? See. Uh, Leslie, the good astrologer I mentioned was Andre at Astrology Alert. And also, oh, Steve Judd with two Ds. Steve Judd, two Ds. He's, uh, he's uh, English and he's so good. So, again, we've got that Queen of Cups. Okay. Let's see here. Greg Gillum says high praise for Jen Lin. Oh, she deserves it. She's she's one of the best readers. Best readers. Period. So uh five of swords, insult to injury, queen of swords, six of swords, ten of pentacles. Nine of Swords. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of swords. We've got all swords except for the Ten of Pentacles, which is the dynasty, the Republican dynasty. Um, and oh, Lucky Girl's here. Hello. Hello, Lucky Girl. Thank you. Um. I really wonder if it's going to be January 6th. I, I mean, the January 6th Select Committee said that they want to have their um, report done by the end of the year. But I wonder if it's going to be closer to February. Because this feels like some people being sent to prison or being indicted or rested or something. And there are the the moderate Republicans or just Republicans who are, are losing sleep because of all of this, who are really worried. It it looks like it indictments. It's what it looks like. So, I'll have to see if any of the other readers are getting anything like that. Hmm, interesting. I could be misreading it, but that's what it feels like. Oh, Maria, uh, you, you explained it the other day. Um, Lu Lucasse? Lucas say, uh, so is saying so shameful of Ted Cruz for defending the right of people to do the Nazi salute. I will, I will, I will be perfectly um, honest with you, uh, and and the person who was giving the Nazi salute was doing it sarcastically, saying that the school board members were Nazis, were authoritarians, and so Ted Cruz trying to say that that was fine because it was a com it was first amendment we don't we don't need we don't need nazi salutes 
invoked in fraught situations. So Ted Cruz should go take several seats. Um, but I, I, uh, I want us to have the best, um, I want us to have the best information about what really happened in certain places because I think the, the stress level can shoot up when we don't know exactly if that makes sense. Zen, Zen Halloween. Scratch the kitty ears. Okay. All right. Because there is a question coming up that's really upsetting, but we'll get there. We're going to be okay. You are going to be okay. All right. 46 minutes. Oh. Uh, Free to but it was completely beside the point. Oh, uh, Ted Cruz needs to go. Yeah. Okay. 4630. Uh, the New Jersey governor's race. Murphy versus Sia. 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 Sia Balti? Sia. Oh, goodness. What's his name? Governor race, yes, that one. Murphy, Sia Torelli, that was it. Murphy is as ma maintaining his nine point lead over Sia Torelli in the final days of the New Jersey governor race. Some are saying it's closer than that. Fox News is saying it's closer than that. Uh, practically a dead heat. And others are saying it's double digits Murphy's ahead by. Thank you, Deanna. Jack, Sia Torelli. So let's have a look. But generally on a lot of these questions, I, I'm trying to move more toward when it comes to who's going to win races. I, I more want to look at um, the astrology of the, of the candidates, but we can, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. So the New Jersey governor's race. Three cards for Murphy, three cards for Sia Torelli. Sia Torelli, Sia Torelli. Hopefully I won't need to, um, hopefully I won't need to remember that name for very long. Hopefully by November 3rd, I can forget it completely. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, New Jersey. What have you got going on up there? Murphy. Murphy. Election day is November 2nd. And Sia Torelli. Sia Torelli. Eight of Pentacles. Well, the working, the right are working. He's he's keeping his distance from Trump. He's trying to sort of have policies like that, but keep actually not have Trump come and um, campaign with him. Whereas Murphy, um, Murphy's had Biden uh, campaign with him. He's uh, Barack Obama did a campaign ad. Yep. Uh, oh wait, that was important. Deanna Bell is saying if Murphy wins, he'd be the first Dem to win re-election since 1978. Okay. All right. So for Murphy, are you going to be the next governor? Are you going for the big chair? Emperor. Six of Pentacles. Son. Okay. All right. Sia Torelli. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Judgment. This is election day and this is small fry and a lack. This is small energy. This is very small energy and that's election day. Whereas here, 
may even get some Republicans voting for him, for Murphy. Going for the big chair, ends in the sun card. Here, this doesn't, doesn't feel like white supremacy. It feels like a bright new day. That's what the cards are saying. Uh, let me see. Any more information here? Frida Smet. Autumn has a more terrifying question in her sleeves, guys. Well, it's Halloween. Exactly. And it's next. New Jersey governor's race. Any more information on that? Oh, thank you, Chen Lin. Who else can't wait to see Autumn in her Halloween costume Sunday? She always has the best costumes. Oh, thank you. You guys are going to have costumes, too, on... Uh, on um, Whose channel? Uh, Jen Lin, whose channel are... are it's... Uh, Becca from House of Lenormand, uh, Jen Lin from Jen Lin Tarot, and uh, Johnny from Tarot's Apprentice. They get together on Sunday nights and just have the best uh, readings, do the best readings together. Um, which channel, which of the three channels are you going to be on on Sunday night so we can see your costumes? Because I heard you guys are going to be wearing costumes too. Again, sun. Okay, for this New Jersey thing. Gina says, I hope you dress up Saturday and Sunday. Oh, no, I've just got the one. Tara's Apprentice. Okay, so it's going to be on Johnny's channel. Okay, everybody, don't miss it. Six of Pentacles, Temperance. Seven of Cups. Um... The, the voters are not wildly happy. If It feels like if... See, but, see, but if, if Chia Pet um, in New Jersey, if he was actually a better candidate, if he wasn't associated with Trump stuff, if he wasn't so blatantly lying in his ads, if, 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 they... They might, you know, they, they'd be inclined to, to not put a Democrat in, and they're not wildly excited about having a Democratic go. I mean, there's, a, there's some real power here toward Republicanism, but it's just, they're tired. People are tired, and they want things to be quiet. Oh, Jen Lin's channel, not Johnny. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Jen Lin's channel. I'm sorry. Yes. Jen Lin Tarot, Sunday night. Teresa Messenger wants to be a circus peanut for Halloween. How cool is that? Dawn says, what will Autumn do with her outfit once Halloween is over? Hmm, maybe auction? I can't imagine anybody would want it, but... You know, to raise some money for Feeding America. You could try. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I'll, I'll probably reuse quite a bit of it for other things eventually. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Okay. Get your get get your kitty happiness or your puppy happiness. Get your, get your zen on, okay? Get your Halloween zen on. Okay. 55. Starting Monday. Uh, Jolie is asking, are you going to Sniffy Autumn? Oh, heck no. Good, good guess, but no. Not even remotely. <laughs> Anyway, Dawn has Snickers. Alicia has Xanax. You know what? 
I, I think all are called for right now. Because starting on Monday, our, our, our dear old friend, poor little Tuck Tuck, Tucker Carlson, has created a January 6th documentary. Quote from an article about it and what's going to be in it. The promo spot for Tucker Carlson's January 6th documentary shows people warning that the domestic war on terror is here and it's coming after half of the country. Quote, the left is hunting the right. Quote, false flags have happened in this country and one of which may have been January 6th. Carlson said Wednesday he was proud of the series, calling it the best thing we've ever done. Not And uh, don't forget, hundreds of Trump fans have been charged with the, in the violence, which led to the deaths of several writers and police officers. So, the left is hunting the right. Really? I'm, I'm on the left. I'm... Kashmir said, oh yeah, I told you about that yesterday. I, I wanted to get more information. Um, I'm on the left and and um, my my one of one of my big priorities today was um, finding finding some warm socks. <laughs> That's that was my big thing. Uh, warm socks um, with a little space heater going and um, making sure the kitties are okay. There's no hunting. DDN is saying best thing we've ever done. That's not saying much. Ooh, whoa. So Mitzi Master is saying QAnon says the left is hunting the right. This is why it's important to appeal face to face with your conservative friends that maybe they're drinking the Q-Laid. That's cute. Q -Laid. Yes, Jolie. Anything for ratings, Tuck Tuck. Mm -hmm. So, this is awful. This is so. It's going to inspire. What is it? What is it going to inspire? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do. I'm doing. I'm doing the overloaded Celtic. And it's called something like the Purge or something, or something about a purge. I, I don't. I don't remember. So Tucker Carlson's comment. Um, Oh, it's not a full Celtic. Oh, good. There's not enough energy there, which means it doesn't have the legs that we're afraid it does. Okay, five cards. Happy to do it. All right. Tucker Carlson's January 6th documentary. Knight of Pentacles. Yes, go out and fight against... Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Three of Wands. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Justice. Okay, this is good. This is good. Patriot Purge. That was it. Thank you, Frida Smith. Okay, this is... Okay, first of all, all these these are all um, 
fascists, right wing, right wing extremists. It's and carrying the burden of what they've done, what they sent out, and it and coming back. A lot of them were behind bars. Uh, um, Lori on the way of positive change. He's also a great reader. Uh, Lori was reading with Danny Shea. Do I have his name right? I've never read with him, or at least not yet. Um, but Lori was saying that she heard that the a lot of the um, insurrectionists who were arrested and are being held are actually being held together in the same pod, which sounds like a wildly bad idea. She wasn't getting that it was a bad idea that's actually helping calm some of them down because there's like a, a leader who's sane or half sane something but anyway this would be perhaps the groups of them together and they're carrying the burden from what they did and here's here's tuck tuck trying to to create a display of oh look look at the greatness look at the uh the greatness of our patriots and the how awful the people on the right are and even the cats like are you high are you what what are you doing and ultimately, it ends in justice for the insurrectionists who were doing things they shouldn't have been doing for the damage they did. So little Tuck Tuck doing his little pantomime, his little fan fiction, his little fascist fan fiction. Um, I don't think it's going to have the effect. It's infuriating, but I don't think it's going to have the effect he wants it to have. So that's good. Patty G, what did I miss? You might want to go back. Uh, tuck, tuck. So Tucker Carlson. Apple says it seems illegal for a news organization. Yes, but that's the thing. They say they're not. They're only entertainment, so they don't have to work up. They don't have to live up to any standards. But it's like if you're just entertainment and you're not news, then you shouldn't be able to use news in your title. But there are parody shows who use things like news, so it starts getting in a gray area. And oh, gosh. Tucker, 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 Tucker. Eight of wands. Oh, yeah, just keep throwing things out there. Yep, yeah. oh, there's his little documentary. And there's a justice card again. Just to prove the point, and Page of Pumpkins. Uh, you're a propagandist. You are a... Um, and you ultimately are nowhere near as important as you think you are, Tucker. And that will be proven. All right. So that's that. That's good. M. Kelby says it'll be so much better when the committee gets some of these messed up people, get them put away. At least they need their mics muted. Um. Patty G says, I'll go back. Oh, okay. All right. I'm starting to pull my hair a little bit, so I'll just leave my hair like that. All right. Um, 104.30. Renee's question. A simple, how did Joe Biden's meeting, or how will Joe Biden's meeting go with French President Macron? I just like saying his name, Macron. Um, Macron is not a pushover. I'm pretty sure he's a Capricorn. And, and Capricorns in charge of countries, they, they definitely take care of their people. They definitely keep the, um, it's a practical sign. It's an earth sign. Um, and he has his pride, you know. 
and he wants to have its pride. So he's not a pushover, but at the same time, he knows who he knows who his real allies are. So. <laughs> That's funny, Don. Um, let's see. Joe Biden's meeting with Michael. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I got this when I read on when this when the original problem came up where the U.S. was selling to selling what was it submarines to Australia and it undercut France a deal that France had had almost closed or something like that or an agreement they had um, at the time I was getting U.S. so they'll grease the wheels you know, find ways to make it up to them. So, uh, Foggy, Foggy Ozark. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. My avatar is a black-tailed witch mermaid in a black sea coral forest of mean trees by Jade Abenko. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Charles keeps uh, is uh, reminding us that, um, or Charlie's reminding us that Tish James is running for governor. Yes, I have heard about that. I, I wasn't going to read on it today, but I, I have heard that. Okay, I, I got the, the U.S. They'll, they'll grease the wheels, make it up to them. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Three of Swords. Ten of Cups, Emperor. Yeah, it's, I mean, Biden, he's he's a good politician. He's going to make Macron feel important. He's not going to be like Trump, go in there and wade in and pretend he's the center of all. Um, he's going to make Macron feel good. It, it, there's some pain there. Um, there may have been a little bit of... Uh, Australia may have been maybe even giving information to both sides, try to get a better deal or telling, getting the, getting the offer from France and then going to the U S and saying, Hey, we're being offered this. Do you, can you do any better? I don't know what their role in this was. There's some hurt feelings, but it'll work out. It'll work out. Yeah. Okay. 10845 or 109. Oh yeah. Hmm. 109. Hmm. Saw this on the news last night. I think Rachel Maddow was talking about it. Do you guys remember Senator Burr? He's no longer a senator. But okay, back when Senator Burr was senator uh he was there were some ethics problems where <clears throat> he sold a whole bunch of stocks that would have been hit because of news about covid and whatnot and uh, made a chunk of money or and or rather saved himself a chunk of money because the whole market crashed about a week later so um, it looked suspicious, and it turns out his brother-in-law did something very similar the same day, but it was the Trump DOJ and the Trump you know, law enforcement. So therefore nothing happened to Burr. They just said, no, we can't prove anything. Everything's fine, whatever. And they just let it go. Well, turns out through 
uh, with more evidence, it turns out that Burr sold his shares. Oh, he's still serving? I thought I thought he wasn't or still around. Oh, he's still around, huh? Oof. I am so sorry. But anyway, turns out he sold his shares. He had a 50-second conversation with his brother-in-law. And his brother-in-law hung up and immediately called his broker and sold shares. So is Senator Burr finally going to be held accountable for insider trading? Leslie says, Martha Stewart went down for this, so should Burr. What it looks like to me. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Jane. <laughs> Apple says, certainly nothing to concern the DOJ. All good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Senator Burr. I thought he was, I didn't know he was still in. No. Oh, thank you for that. I learn, I learn something here every day. Thank you. Senator Burr. Oh, ooh, nervous, nervous. Ooh, pain down the back. Oh, oh, tightening of muscles. Stress level. And then that blankety blank Rachel Maddow has to dredge it all up. Six of cups. Yeah, you're in you're in uh, democratic controlled government now. Knight of Cups, Hierophant, Seven of Cups. Oops, sorry. Judgment. Nine of Swords. Oh, he's got some worrying to do. There are definitely going to be some people coming to whatever, whatever, whoever would would um, make a case out of this, because he's just been lying, and there's there's real fear of judgment, both he and his brother-in-law. There's, there's real fear there. Okay, well, so it looks like somebody is going to try to do something about it. Gary, Gary Atkins is saying this is the last term. He won't seek re-election in 2022. And Suzanne Reinhardt is saying the same thing. Thank you. So, Burr, not liking this energy. I mean, like, for if I was him, I would not be liking this energy. That was a message. That's the messenger. You definitely, you, you, they have, they have the, um, Linda Johnson saying the Federal Trades Commission, FTC, could be, could be. Hmm. Three of Cups, King of Swords, Six of Cups. These are happy Democrats. I mean, happy Democrats. And that's a prosecutor. So I'm not getting, I've got in the cards here and the energy, I've got somebody actually turning this into a case. And it, I've only got energy as far as him being prosecuted. And, but I've got wildly happy Democrats. This is like joyous and I don't know why. Because if 
Burr left tomorrow, I'm sure they'd just be replaced by another Republican. So, but this is very happy Democrats. Maybe it's just that somebody was being held accountable. But that's what I'm getting for that. Uh, Katie Arbuckle says, time to serve the people. The lunch rush is coming. Well, good luck. Good luck. <sighs> okay. 116. Chen Lin, call me. Calls, sings blondies. Call me. Call me anytime. Just not with insider, uh, insider trading information. Because that could put me in jail. Okay, 116, where are we? We're down to be kind. Be, be kind had a question at 116. And very simple, how long will we remain under, you, said, you actually said toxic masculinity in the US. I, I think it's toxic patriarchy, I think is, would might be more accurate. There are some really good men out there, there really are, who are, put everything on the line for, to fight the good fight. Uh, so I, I think it's toxic patriarchy. How long will we be suffering? How long will we remain under toxic patriarchy in the US? Well, we're not gonna get out of it before the Pluto return, I can tell you that. Kathy Lamson says, no, Autumn, North Carolina has a democratic governor. Gary Atkins is saying North Carolina Governor Ray Cooper is a Democrat. Really? You don't say. Does that mean that if they indict Burr? that the power in the Senate will tilt more toward the Democrats? They'd have to hurry. He was, he was gonna step down, well, the end of his term would be January, 2023, is when he would literally step down. Mm. Jalen Terra says, yes, he's a Dem, but the Republicans tied up his hands a lot. That's happened in Wisconsin, too. So. Well, Lady Life, thank you. Thank you for your time and talents. Really appreciate your dedication. Thank you, Lady Life. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh. That would explain the happy Dems, Sherry, if that's what happens. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let me put one eighteen thirty. Toxic patriarchy in the U.S. Toxic patriarchy in the U.S. Knight of Cups, those are good men. Two of Cups, <clears throat> Ace of Wands, and Star. This is the card of hope. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this these are, these are fantastic cards right there. And this is what's coming. More decency. It's, it's, it's just that the, like the, the Trump is Kool-Aid drinkers. They're loud. And a lot of these good people and, and good men, uh, and good, good people of, of other genders, um, they, they're quiet, 
in by in comparison. But it's definitely going to increase over time. It's one of the reasons why the far right is losing their minds. So. Okay. Hey, Tara. All right. B. Smith, thank you so much for all your work. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Okay. Diana Cache, like, oh, you like the Reving, Reving Zen Halloween today. All right, at 121, let's check in on the Queen. Uh, the news is that the Queen has been advised by doctors to rest for at least two weeks. I was looking at her astrology chart. I didn't see any tr transit. I mean, it could have been regressions or solar arcs or, or, or midpoints, but I, I wasn't seeing any transits that were immediately problematic. So I know that's only partial information, but the queen would not approve of this tarot reading. We're reading from the colonies. Mitzi Master says the queen is mourning Philip. That is true. Yeah, you can't you can't spend um, you can't spend that many years with somebody and not feel when they they're gone. Holly and France is saying she's ninety five years old, so no wonder she's being told to slow down a bit. Yeah. Yep. Six of Cups. Rest. And that's a, this is my card for a hospital. Rest. Don Krub says, honestly, Autumn's side cover babies. How much trouble could they possibly cause? Cute or treat? Oh. Jen Lynn is, uh, Jen Lynn Tara saying, I'd like to be told to slow down at 95. Yeah. Yep. B. Smith says Pluto transits and solar eclipses are tricky for the people who are 90 plus years old. I, I believe it. Yep. Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords. The Empress. <laughs> she is the Empress. Moon, Ten of Swords. She hurts. She aches badly. She 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 hurts all over. Like um, this is just some pain. There's some stress, uh, especially when it comes to Andrew. But she is the queen. Um, let me see if I can get anything else. That's all I'm getting. Sherry says, Sherry H is saying, plus she knows William is close to being ready to take his place on the throne. Well, Charles is first. <sighs> yes, Mitty Master, the trick is to make it to 95. How are you doing, Mrs. Windsor? <laughs> Queen of Cups. She's got a lot of good care. Temperance. 
Eight of Cups. Ooh, not good test results. Knight of Ghosts. A little more active um, medical care. This is all just medical care. This whole thing. Just going on. So bless. Okay. Oh yeah, don't get me started on Charles. It is not my country. So I, I'm fully aware of that. I feel like I'm allowed half an opinion though, because I, I'm a human being in the world. Um, I'm American and we're opinionated. And uh, to, I did, was married to an Englishman for 20 years. And while we have different views on the monarchy, I did learn a lot about it. So, um, yeah, I've got my issues with Charles. But anyway, okay. 120, it's almost 127. Where are we? Ugh, Abbott. You know, um, I was mentioning that in Illinois, they've changed some of the congressional districts, and that's why Kinzinger is stepping down because they're gaining two Democratic districts and getting rid of one Republican one. Well, in Texas, you have the opposite. On Monday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed into law new, a new congressional map that is expected to bolster the GOP's majority in the quickly diversifying state. Will it stand? Texas. T E G G I S. Texas. Texas. Changing the maps. Will the maps stand? Hermit. Things done in secret. Page of Cups. King of Pentacles. Minimizing Democrats. Ace of Cups. Oh, you're holding back a tide. Donna, what is your first name? My first name? I'm I'm known as Autumn around here. Um, one, because I didn't use my real name when I started, and two, because my real name is hard for a lot of people to pronounce or deal with. Uh, my 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 give my actual legal name is Sebastien. Uh, it's the feminine of Sebastian, and it's spelled. It's down in the description box. It's, it's down there. So uh, this is Abbott hold, having to hold back a tide. There is a, this feels, this, these may be like just a beginning or just a page, but this feels like a huge tide of democratic energy. And he's holding on for now, but this, this guy is sweating. This king of the Republicans is just, he knows what he's trying to hold back. And it's, it's massive, this energy. So holding on for now, but it's tenuous. It's not going to last. I don't know that this specific uh, redistricting will be knocked down, but it's just a matter of time. That's what it feels like. Oh, thank you, Foggy. Mitzi Master saying Abbott will be facing huge insurgents of agitated voters marching and agitating for change. Well, but when? <laughs> Michelle uh, Peterson saying, very beautiful name. Thank you. I rather like it. 
So, this redistricting would stick fool. No, oh, he's, he's just acting foolish. Just he's, he's throwing power around, but then he has conversations with people who know the real numbers and tell him the real numbers and tell him it's really going on. And he listens and he realizes he needs to do something about it. Um, kind of like how when you get to the end of the year and you look back over your previous year and you're setting things up for the following year and you're like, okay, what did my weight actually do this year? How much of that project did I really get done that I wanted to get done? How's my business or my, um, how's my business or, um, uh, you know, things like that. How's that going to do? It's like a reckoning. And for, I, I'll repeat this story just because it's so cute and some people haven't heard it. Uh, I was fortunate enough, you, I've, I've told you a million times, uh, sorry. I was fortunate enough to live in the Netherlands when I was a teenager for a few years. And uh, in Dutch, at the end of your meal and when you want the check, you, you ask for the reckoning that's that's what it's called the reckoning um so uh facing the reckoning and then abbott is like okay and then once he gets away from that it's like okay i'm in power i'm great i the republicans are great we'll keep in power but it's right there he knows he knows Knight of Pentacles, fight for those Republican causes. Three of Cups, it's coming. King of Cups, it's going to eclipse him. I'm fighting for the... Ta-da, Democrats. Matter of time. Matter of time. Okay. Okay. All right, one thirty three. Leslie Siemens had a question. Does Trump have death threats over GOP heads? Certainly, we he, he knows he knows some crazies. Does Trump have death threats or something like that over GOP death threats? Not he himself. He, he barely lift a finger to unwrap a Big Mac. Uh, Card for the readings, a death card, but that could be in relation to the deep fried food. Yeah. There's Trump the man. There's the hangman. He's not in power. <clears throat> and there's America. He'll threaten. He, he'll go against them. Um, he'll make life difficult for them. Rile up his base. It scares them, scares a lot of them. But yeah, it's it's just it's not really death threats. It's it's really just he'll make your life miserable. He'll make sure his minions, his cultists, make your life miserable. So one thirty-five. Devin Nunez. Devin Nunez. You know, he's already in trouble because his mother is in charge of his campaign finances and she's been doing it wrong. And he owes a lot of money and there was money that was supposed to be turned over to the treasury and it never was. 
Oops. Well, apparently there's been redistricting in California, I believe it is. So Devin Nunes, his district is actually being uh, partially moved in, in with a, a Democratic district. So, oh, Devin, are you going back to the farm? Are you going to, are you going to be permanently going home to the cows? How is the redistricting going into effect? Devin Nunes. Mitzi Master saying, question, will Devin Nunes have a cow? Seven of, oh yeah, re, the, re, shuffling, shuffling the districts. Wait, what? Two of ones, two of, Oh, very unsteady energy. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Strength. He can't make a go of it. There, there just there, there, there isn't. There aren't enough voters for him. You just you can't get there from here. <clears throat> and these are other people, specifically women, uh, looking over this new. It's like they're coming in and, and uh, checking out the new district. Oh, I could, I could move in here. Uh, let me see, you know, I could change these drapes. I could uh, put a couch in over, oh, you, yes. Could you move aside? I'm trying to, to figure out what I'm gonna put over there. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah. Thank you, California. Thank you. We're most grateful. Diana Cachet says, we don't want Burr to leave. Under 2018 North Carolina law, the state Republicans get to pick three people who North Carolina governor has to choose from. This also gives that new senator an advantage in 2022. We need Burr to stay. And Well, but I do want there to be justice eventually. All right. 138.30. I get complaints that the the live stream runs too long and it's like I have so many questions <laughs> you guys give me so many great questions and poof all right so Apple was asking about this, this poor judge who's, who is dismayed about the DOJ Garland and the prosecutors over the January 6th insurrectionists so is is this just this weak sauce just going to continue where Insurrectionists are just getting slaps on the wrist and or is it going to become more serious? And higher up that insurrectionist food chain it goes. All right, Knight of Knight of Cups. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Cups. That was Knight of Cups. This is Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Uh, it's kind of hit and miss. But this is insult to injury. This is a lack of funds to to uh, for defense. Uh, defending themselves. This is the whole slew of them. Um, more and more. So I'm just getting more and more. And they're, they're going to go after all of them. 
Yeah, it just feels like they should have thrown the book at every single last one of them, but they didn't. And I know the argument that it would clog the courts and all of this, but if so, what this kind of thing can happen again? Because oh, we don't want to flood the courts. Mm -mm. here devil card yeah that was a really bad idea guys king of cups strength and ten of cups all right they're 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 working their way down the list or up the list whatever up the hierarchy yeah it's it's not it's not going to be for naught it's it is going to make a difference in the long run Uh, Jane Weininger was saying, speaking of insult to injury, won't the jailed insurrectionists be ticked off that the politicians get off? Angry men may go after the politicians. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. And lastly, let's, because uh, I think you guys put it in the chat about 10 times. <laughs> 142. Letitia James has just announced that she is running for, I'm assuming, New York governor. How's that going to go? See, that's the thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> she should announce, unless there's some date that she absolutely had to announce by, she should actually do something to bring the tr Trumps to justice or toward justice in a big way and then announce she wants to be governor. Because right now it's like, gracious. So, Tisha James. And I'll have more information when I've, I've got so many, I've got so many astrology charts to look at, but I'll start working my way through them. Tisha James, running for governor. What's the energy like now? She has a chance. Bad, bad timing. Three of pentacles. And the plan. Ever, but the plans aren't finished. She hasn't. She, okay. She needs to dismantle the Trump stuff. That's what's going to help her. Something big, high profile like that. That's what's going to help her. Emperor. Four of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. World card. Queen of Wands. I, I don't... I... Um, I don't think it's just me. At least that's what, um, at least that's what this is saying. And, and Jen Lin is uh, saying, prosecutors speak. Don't be all talk until you finished your job. Exactly. Uh, Electra says, what does this do to the Trump case? I can look at that. But what I'm getting here is uh, every, every day that Trump sniffy senior is walking around breathing free air, considering everything he did in New York, you haven't done your job. Why should I, why should, why should you get the top job? Why should you be promoted? You're just, you're just, uh, you're just uh, one of those people that's allowing him to swan around. Why haven't you arrested him? Why haven't you arrested him? 
of all the huge lists of things he's done. So forget it. You want to change? You need to not be one of the people that's letting him swan around. After all the, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the energy. Maybe it's just me, but I'm, I'm, it's even stronger in the cards where it's just like, mm -mm. Electra Storm says she got Andrew quick, though. Eh, really? When, when did that take place? How long have they been after? Eh, well, she needs to go after Trump. That I do know. Let me see if I can get any more information. Hang on. Diana Cachet is saying, I'm sorry, but if she keeps prosecuting Dems and not 45, I wouldn't vote for her either. Yeah. Is it is it her office that's going after Cuomo? So you're going to go to Cuomo, but Trump's still breathing free air? King of Cups. Hanged man. King of Wands, struck the man full. He's not in power anymore. He's not protected by presidential anything. He's a man. And he's just running around being the big orange fool. And you're letting him. Okay. That's all I'm getting for that. How did she exactly? What I said. Letitia finished what she started. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's been two hours and I have covered, I think about maybe 15 questions. Oh gosh. But that's going to do it for me for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everything and all your support. It, it's huge and it makes such a difference. So thank you. Uh, at the sound of the tone, it will be 1.58 PM here in Chicago. Ding. And, uh, over at four o'clock uh, Chicago time, I'll be over on Book Art Media, the Book Art Media channel. Do creative sprints. You're always welcome. The link to the channels in the description box, and uh, we just just bring your creative projects, whatever it is, and uh, make some time. Make some time to work on your creative stuff, whatever it is. It can be knitting, newsletters, graphics, anything. And then we just encourage each other between sprints. Other than that, tomorrow night, today's Friday, tomorrow is Saturday, October 30th, uh, at, from 8 to 10 p.m. Chicago time, central time in the U.S. Uh, for long-suffering patrons will be our monthly two-hour get-together, our tarot social, uh, where we, it's a much smaller group, and you can ask me, I'll get to, you got me for two hours, and we talk about, uh, we usually don't talk about politics, we end up talking about spirituality, we uh, reading on famous people in history and, and all that kind of fun stuff. And then of course, Sunday is Halloween. So at the regular noon live stream, because I'm on 365 days of the year, the regular noon live stream, uh, I will have my, my Halloween costume, which is a big deal for me anyway. And uh, no, my nails have, somebody said earlier something about your, your nails, a hint of what your costume's going to be. No, no, just hearts just hearts to go along with the Zen. So I hope you had a, uh, I hope that, that you found some comfort here. All right. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. So take care. Thank you.